In this video, we will learn about SAP, or Satisfactory Academic Progress. Understanding and meeting SAP requirements is critical to continuing to receive financial aid funding, federal veterans benefits, and F-1 visa support for international students. U.S. federal regulations for financial aid, veteran benefits, and F-1 international student visa require anyone receiving these benefits to meet certain academic standards. These federal agencies require colleges put programs in place that ensure you stay on track to graduate. At Madison College, Satisfactory Academic Progress, or SAP, is that program. Understanding the SAP requirements will help you stay on top of what you need to keep your financial aid, federal veterans benefits, or maintain your F-1 visa status. There are three ways Madison College measures satisfactory academic progress. One, maintain at least a 2.0 cumulative grade point average while attending Madison College. Two, complete at least two thirds of all Madison College classes you've enrolled in. You can still drop a class before it starts and if you wanna drop a class after it starts, make sure you review your standards of academic progress page in the student portal. We'll talk about that page in just a moment. Three, each time you start a class, it is considered an official attempt. Ideally, you will complete all your attempted classes and receive great grades. SAP requires you to stay on task and take only classes that are required by your program. SAP requires your total earned credits to be less than 150% of your graduation requirement. For example, if your program requires 60 credits to complete, you must complete that program before you've attempted 90 credits. After each semester, your grades, completion, and total credits are reviewed to calculate your SAP status. Meet SAP status means you meet requirements. Warning or suspension can have consequences for your eligibility to receive future financial aid, federal education benefits, or maintain your F-1 visa status. If you are receiving financial aid from Madison College, are using federal veterans benefits, or an international student at Madison College under an F-1 visa, you will receive a communication each semester about your SAP status. These are important messages, so be sure to view your My Madison College Message Center and your Madison College email even after the semester ends to read them. You can also log into your My Madison College portal to view your SAP status at any time. Log into your My Madison College portal and go to Academic Record Style. In this area, click on Satisfactory Academic Progress to view your current status. Notice the term for which your status is calculated. Your status is noted along with any reason or reasons for that value. Your cumulative GPA, percent of credits completed, and maximum attempted credits are also listed in this summary. You can also navigate to the History tab to see your SAP status from previous semesters. So, what if you have a bad semester? Or two, and your SAP status falls to warning or suspension? Remember how I said SAP policies are meant to help you and keep you on track? The SAP policy allows you time and opportunity to improve your SAP standards if you face academic challenges. The first time you fall below the meet SAP status, you will be placed in warning status. This means you need to improve your SAP standards, GPA, credits completed, and focus on completing your degree, maximum credits attempted, or you may lose your financial aid or F-1 visa status in the future. You still have time to take action and repair the situation. The messages that you receive at the end of the term will clearly indicate what you need to do next. Access Madison College Student Support Services. Talk with an advisor to review your academic plan or counselors can help you with study skills and develop a study plan. Connect with the Student Achievement Center for tutoring. We know college can be hard. That's why we have so many services here to support your success. Unfortunately, if you continue to be unsuccessful academically, your SAP status will go from warning to suspension. This means that you are no longer eligible to receive financial aid, federal veterans benefits, and your F-1 visa status will be at risk. If that happens, don't give up. You can turn things around with an appeal or by improving your SAP status. You can still enroll at Madison College, but you may need to pay for the classes out of pocket while you work to raise your SAP status. If you do and show progress, your SAP status may improve and make you again eligible for financial aid, federal veterans benefits, and F-1 visa support. 
Understanding your SAP status and SAP standards helps you keep eligible for financial aid and F-1 visa status. Use the resources we have available, counseling, advising, disability resources, career and employment services, free tutoring, laptop loan, and excellent research and tech support in our library. Another bit of advice. This one is a no-brainer. Go to class. Everyone. Even if you don't feel like it, if you're struggling, talk to your instructor. If you need more help, use the resources we mentioned. We want you to succeed. And finally, meet with an advisor every semester. Whether you choose to self-advise using your degree progress report, it is still best to check in with an advisor at least once each term. They can also help keep you on track, explore electives, and plan to transfer. Now that you know all about SAP, keep your eyes on the prize and succeed towards your goals. You got this. And if you need help, we're here. To learn more about satisfactory academic progress at Madison College, visit the link in the description box below or contact the Financial Aid Office or Veterans Educational Benefits Office at 608-246-6170. International students should contact the Center for International Education for information and visa support. Visit the link in the description box below or send an email to iss at madisoncollege.edu. Thanks for watching.